Hola a todos and hello everyone. Cam in Korea here. I am doing a perfectly imperfect video today. I'm a little bit sick, so I've got my mom's apple cider vinegar honey tea with a dash of cinnamon because you know it's good for you. And I'm going to quickly tell you a story of my the time that I uh, went to Puerto Rico. And so, yeah, like I literally woke up like this. I didn't take a shower. I literally checked my nose, put my glasses on, and uh, put a sheet t-shirt on because that's what you do. Can't guarantee it for the next video, but you're lucky today. So here I go. Oh. Apple cider vinegar is still strong. It was a dark and starry night on the island of Puerto Rico when I first pulled in. And so I went in and I went into the San Germán airport and there was nobody around to ask questions to because it was rather late by the time I arrived. So I was just in there and I was in the airport hoping that they hadn't forgotten about me because everyone else that I was on the plane with, they got picked up and taken home by their loved ones. And I was just sitting there like, did they forget about me? Like what's happening? It's, um, like do I have to call somebody kind of thing? And I'm like, my phone's dead. So anyway, I was sitting there and I was waiting and I'm, then all of a sudden I saw this car pull up and I was like, is it them? Is it them? And it was them. So these two lovely ladies came in. Um, for the privacy's sake, I'm going to call them Doctor and Doctor's Friend, who ended up becoming my professor later on in the semester. And Doctor came out and she said, hey, are you Cameron? And I'm like, yes. And she's like, okay, vamonos. So I t took my luggage, put my things in her car, and we went. And so on our way home, as we were, um, as they were chatting, introducing themselves, really sweet ladies, um, they asked me, oh, do you want to go shopping at Walgreens and get some snacks and water so that you have something to eat for, t for the night? And I was like, sure. So we went to Walgreens and I was so excited because um, not particularly to go to Walgreens, like I love Walgreens and stuff, but I was really excited because I got to fa fin I got to practice my first bit of Spanish in Puerto Rico, which was really exciting because I was like, I had my basket on my arm and I was just walking through the aisle and then I rounded the corner and I almost hit this woman and I said, oh, perdóname. And then she said, she either said, oh, es okay or está bien. And either way I understood her. And I was so excited because I was like, I've been studying Spanish for so long and now puedo practicar mis primeras palabras en un país hispano plata y estoy tan feliz. This is going to be a good semester. So I was like, got this. And then, um, oh, and then she's, when she said either es okay or um, the other one, I was like, can, I was like, no se preocupa, which is like, don't worry about it. And I was like, <laughs> and then, so yeah, I got to finish my, I got to practice my first bit of Spanish. I finished my shopping, went out to check out, and I was speaking with doctor, and all of a sudden she got this worried look on her face, and she looked that way. So I was like, what's happening? Turns out, doctor's friend somehow ended up on the floor in a really nice Z-sit. She was laughing, chatting with the security guard, had her arms up like this, and I freaked out because she had fallen on the floor. Doctor was laughing, security guard was laughing. I was laughing uneasily because I wasn't sure what they were saying, but I caught the security guard saying, ah, a usted le duele plata, which means I give you silver. But I had to ask in the car, I'm like, so wait, he gives her a plate? Because I thought plata was plate, because I'm like, ugh. But they were like, no, he gives her a silver. And this was right around the time of the Olympics. So it was like, you know, like, el oro, la, la plata, el bronze. And I was like, oh, okay, gold, uh, gold, gold, silver, bronze, got it. So that is my story of my first night in Puerto Rico. Um, and I... I learned that life is too short to take yourself too seriously, so it's okay to laugh at yourself even when you're down because you're gonna get back up. All right, Cam and Korea with stories from across the sea. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever, and I hope to entertain with you with more stories from across the sea next time. Thank you.